the oscilloscope is showing zero volts. There's a transistor connected in an amplifier circuit, single-ended class A. I turn on the power supply with no bias on the transistor. And the output voltage goes to approximately the same as the power supply voltage, which is about 9 volts. Um, then you add some bias current to the base, bring it to somewhere around the middle, going to turn on a triang triangle wave signal going into the base. This is showing the non-linearity of the transistor. Um, as I crank up the signal, you can see that towards the top is zero volts, um, and that's saturation. And at the bottom is cut off uh, where the transistor collector is dropping off its current approaching zero um, and the top and bottom are not equally distorted uh, so it's a an asymmetric type distortion and it gets worse as you crank up the signal it's actually kind of like a sine wave along the bottom Um, there's a bypass capacitor on the emitter resistor. If I take that capacitor out, you can see the gain went way down. And I can crank up a higher signal. You can see it's a lot more linear because of the negative feedback that's created. Um, the negative, the, the feedback is because there is a a positive going signal being forced across the emitter resistor while the uh, signal is going positive and that voltage is due to collector current so it's actually a feedback from collector down to emitter which counteracts the signal going into at the base um, but we can crank up the signal until it distorts and you can still see it's a little more square up here than it is down here. So it's still asymmetric, but it, um, once you put that emitter resistor in, it's a lot cleaner. Or at least in our case, um, in the AC circuit, the, the emitter resistor is out of the picture if it's bypassed with a capacitor.